base. We could raid this, to be fair. Nothing in the drop box. Nope, already been raided. Alrighty. I got a torch on me. No. Always great. Authorized? Oh! If it has been raided, they left some shit. Mmm, some pumpkin seeds. I can't see anything in here either. Hey, they left something in the furnace though. Alrighty. not a single barrel up or down this road so that's joyous ladder hatch 75 scrap shit that's really good p2 75 scrap oh man that is actually a really really good shop i <laughs> i'm very tempted by some of those things i just need scrap i i'm i just need scrap Fuck! I think he had a rad suit on, actually. One of the new rad suits. Not seen one of them on this channel yet. That'd be pretty cool to get. Oh well. Oh, turret. Yes, baby. I hate pipes. That's sick. Not bad. Not bad. That's a whole mess of scrap, which is what I needed, so... I'm probably just gonna dip home with this. Uh, what is going on everyone? I hope everyone's having an incredible day. What up? Um, I have some big plans for today's episode. We've obviously got to get a little bit of a farm on. Need a little bit of ore, as you always do. That's just rust these days. Um, we've got some rad town runs to do. We've branched the base out a little bit, as you will have seen in that little montage type thing. We've got plenty more to do. i got loads of shit on me right now, actually. Loads of stuff. I'm just farming up. So far, I'm really loving this wipe. I, I am having a, I'm having a bit of a nice one. This area out here is a bit of an oasis. It's so far out, away from roads. I'm just sort of left to my own devices. It's awesome. I farm. I chill. I do what I want out here. And then we sort of head inland when we want some uh, some of that juicy action. Before we properly get into it, guys, I just like we said last episode, I just want to say a massive thank you to these guys for dropping me comments in the last video and supporting me. You guys rock. Right. Let's go. I haven't got full health yet. It's come too soon. Who has it? I'm out. Fuck that noise. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Shit, his mate's back or he's back or something. He's not shooting at me, whatever the story. I'm out. Fuck that noise. Let's go, boys. Python times. Alright. This is going to be a way to get it, but who cares? Hmm. A little base here. That could be a potential raid, really. I mean, it's a dead guy here. That could be a potential raid. I mean, the um, little 2 by 2s always have some really juicy loot. The fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I'm hit. What is going on right now? Fucking bandages, 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 bandages. I am panicking so hard right now. That's a semi rifle, two pumps. Where the hell? What the hell? Did he kill? S I can only assume that some animal or something could come along and kill him. What the fuck? I'll take that all day long. That is the luckiest fucking find, man. Oh, bro, get that on. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. We've got rifle ammo right now. 
Um, I need that, I need that, I need that. Someone's still bowing at me. Okay. It's okay. He can bow at me all he wants. He's quite far behind. I just need to heal. I couldn't have had syringes. A man needed syringes. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Get in. Let's go. So many fucking guns right now. I know, I know you can't, um... You can't re re uh, repair, that's the word, tills, come on, without knowing the blueprint already. But I'm going to have to learn one of these pumps. We've got two of the buggers. If we learn one, we can research the other. That would be great. They're going in there. That's awesome. I really, chest organization in this base has gone to absolute pot right now. I have plenty of bows and stuff. That was the only reason. Fucking hell. Loving it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I've got all the furnaces cooking, so I've had a little bit of an interlude in between play there, just so that I could really just farm my arse off, just build up a load of loot, all these furnaces are all just cooking sulfur and metal frags right now. I'm crafting a load of pickaxes because I found a base that looks like it could be, it could be a potential raid, it's quite sizable. Ah, oh, I can't even get out around this stupid base. Um, and it's going to be quite a big raid. But it is reasonably close, so I would like to raid it, I think. It's it's our, it's our neighbour, basically. But there's a little smidgen of the base we might be able to pick, so I'm going to head over there now. Alright, so here she is. But the door is here, the front door's here, which goes into like this, which I assume... Okay, I'll give you a little, little look. Front door, I assume nothing, and then all of the loot is in like a 2x2 two two at the back here. That is my assumption, because I saw it on wipe day. And it started as this back 2x2. Two two. It started as a 2x1, this side. So I think here is the loop. But I don't know. If, if you see when I jump back on here. There we go. This is the wrong way around. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes right now just picking through this. It's probably going to go nowhere. It could even be a low wall. Uh, it could be a low wall to fucking nothing. But it's worth, a, it's worth 7 picks in my eyes. Then we can get a little idea of the base layout anyway. Cracky, let me tell you, pick raiding does take its time, doesn't it? But we're almost through. Have been undisturbed, which is nice. We've managed to crack through this. I can't imagine there's going to be anything in here. If it is just a low wall, I, I am going to be pissed. But I can't see why it would be this way around. It's going to give us an idea of what the base layout is to this thing, though, which is going to be good. Alright, we're almost through. Two, two, one more hit. And three. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The fuck? Alright, so that is. Eh, there we go. Front door. Yep. Air locked. So all of his, his main juicy loots are definitely in this back cavity. And with the fact that A, I know that he built this two by one to the left on wipe day, and the fact that he's tier stacked it so you can't raid from the top for some reason. I think. I could throw my satchels on that door. I, th uh, I think what I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm just gonna throw ten on the back. I think I'm gonna work my fucking ass off, find some rope, and get through ten satchels on that back cavity. That's the plan. Oh god, this is gonna take some effort. Jesus Christ. All right, that took literally what feels like an eternity to craft everything. What do you guys think about the crafting times in Rust? They are mental, aren't they? When, especially when it comes to like satchel charges and bean cans. Felt like that took me like literally half an hour. Okay, I've got a door. I'm actually gonna leave the door and the code lock. I've just taken it off here, to be honest. And I'm gonna leave half of these satchels as well. And I'm gonna try and do this raid. Okay, what makes this tricky is I'm not quite sure on the like the local area around here anymore. It's been a while since I've played. But I'm just going for it. I think this is what the inn. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't it? Right. Come on, baby. One more. Come on. Let's go for the five. I could have brought a turret. I have a turret. I could have brought that, but I don't have um, a workbench to make rifle ammo. So I've only got that limited amount that I got from that guy's semi rifle. So, not really an option. Smashing all five went off. We are down half health, as expected. And now I can just go and settle back at base and just chill a little bit. See if anybody comes to counter and come back with the other five. Okay, not really left at any time. Mainly because I just want to get this done right now. Ow. No, 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 no. off. 
No traps. Oh my god, we're in. Fuck. I need to be so... I oh, really need those. Oh, mine's okay. Gears, yep. Ladder hatch. Oh my god. I'll take a red suit all day long. Um... I don't really know what to take here. Sulfur, yes. Alright, I'm taking this back to base. The TC was locked, so I'm gonna have to fucking come back with something to break that. Just melee weapons or something. I, there's another two or three runs I could make for all this loot, though. Alright, let's dump it in here. Yeah, we'll dump everything from this raid in here. Two pythons, that's pretty nice, actually. Um, I'm gonna take some of those back. Leave one of those, grab that stuff so I can build in my door and code lock. Okay. Alright, we need to take some more of this crap back to base, I guess. Or do I want to just... I'm just going to try it. Okay, let's... I'm just going to try and get through this thing right now so that I can do what I want in here. It's key locked. That's annoying. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost. I brought wood and a hammer, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Sick. Okay. TC had next to nothing in it. Always great. That's fine though, that's fine. God, I'm feeling I'm feeling better now we've got this secure. I don't need that little bit. That's nice. Okay, I didn't even see this box. And this has got loads of juicy loot. Oh shit, 78 high qual. That is awesome. 441 low grade. Get in. And loads of leather. Okay, this is awesome. Right, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Right, actually, I could sort of chill here. I've destroyed his bag. Um, what do I need off his body? I don't really know. Who needs bone frags these days? I'll take a crossy though. Some road signs always nice. I could probably do with the food. Yeah, we'll we'll sort of sit in this base. He's got loads of stuff I need to take back to my base. But at the same time, I'd love to pick through to that other bit there. I think what I'm gonna do is dump some of this, head back to my base, and get some bits and bobs. Just so I can pick through that. And seven, insert 27 million years later. We're through. And there is mm, what a weird fucking base design this is. What, what the fuck? I don't understand. Right. Actually, shit, that's a level 2. 240 scrap will take that all day long. That's a level 2 workbench, which is what I'm working for. But I think now we've got this scrap, I think I'm pretty sure I can make one back at base. I think I'm going to keep this base. I need to block off probably his front entrance, which I can do. Oh, if I place a TC. Or I can just leave it and let it decay. I might just let it decay, boys, to be honest. Take these boxes, though. And I'm going to head home. Alrighty then, everybody. That sort of means that we are about there. Throw a couple more furnaces down just for the banter. Should we get this l fucking whatever one of these is called down? Locker? Why not? And we've got the level 2 workbench which is just about to finish crafting. There we go. I'm going to start moving sort of my operation upstairs a bit but look at that. That's perfect. That means we can really kick this operation up a bit. We've got Now we've got the level 2 workbench that means we can start laying down some really a set, sort of second tier stuff. We can start learning like semi-rifle, uh, 556, that sort of jazz, use the turret we've got, and everything. It's going to be grand. But guys, that's the perfect place for me to call an end to today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've done a lot today, got a lot done. I feel really confident with being able to turn off now and feel happy. Early game that we've done some really good work. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, raiding, PvP, building the base out, everything sort of thing, please drop a like on the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, look out for the next episode. And most of all, guys, have an incredible day. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.